Hey guys, I'm Greg Jones for Engine Builder. I'm joined by Brett LaSala. Behind us is his 2012 Ford Mustang with a twin turbo five liter Ford Coyote engine in it. And it's our engine of the week. Engine Builders Engine of the Week is sponsored by Pen Grade One, L Ring DOS Original, and NPW. Brett, thanks so much for giving us a little bit of time today. Yeah, it's great Talk to meet you. I followed you guys for a long time. Absolutely, no, yeah. I appreciate that. You know, we were pumped to hear that you're going to be here at Sick Week. That's and, cool. You know, we've you know we've seen some videos of the car, obviously, but yep. getting to see it run uh, in person this morning on day one here in Orlando is killer yeah and you put together a nice pass and hearing this engine in person is pretty unique like yeah. when it gets up on the pipe at, at 9500 rpm it's a pretty unique sound for sure yeah. for sure and uh you know we'd love to know a little bit more about what you got here uh in the five liter coyote sure. um, you know obviously we're familiar with joe and the guys over at fast forward race yep. engines uh, who helped you do a lot of the work with it. But yeah, walk absolutely. Walk us through a little bit of it. Yeah, um, so basically, uh, as we said before, um, Brett LaSala and I work at Real Street Performance. I'm a shop lead there. Uh, we have an engine program through Fast Forward. Uh, I've known Joe for a long time. We've been working on Coyote stuff for four or five years. Yeah. Uh, so basically, um, been his guinea pig for a long time and back and forth. He supports me uh, racing and breaking it and builds me a new one. And when we don't break it, uh, we're doing great, right? We have the next revenge vision. So um, the current engine in the car, uh, is a Predator factory block bought right from Ford. Um, obviously Joe's uh, custom sleeves and his sleeving process uh, done to the block. It has Manly pistons and uh, Manly MGP aluminum connecting rods. Okay. It's a factory Ford uh, crankshaft, just bought right from Ford. Um, you know, and then it has race bearings and all the clearance stuff that, that Joe does to that. Right. Uh, the cylinder heads are uh, production GT 350 Voodoo cylinder heads. Uh, Joe and the guys have done their um, port job on those, has foray valves um, and matching springs for the custom comp camps. Yeah. The lifters are factory for the Voodoo, the roller um, followers are factory for the Voodoo, timing chains are factory, um, you know, it's got upgraded secondary chains and some guide work and stuff like that. Um, engine runs on a dry sump oiling system, uh, factory cooling system, it's still a wet deck. Okay. Uh, it's got a copper head gasket okay. uh, with an O-ring and a receiver groove, um, but it's still full wet deck. So that's what allows us to be able to do this drag and drive stuff. Right. Like For this sure. is, um, you can literally just take this engine out and put it in any late model Mustang and just put their parts on and go drive down the road. Yeah. Like there's nothing, that's you know, crazy. super race orientated or, you know, lash, you know, you know, secret stuff in it. Like yeah. it, it's, it's basic in the sense of an engine making 2,500 horsepower at 9,500 RPM. As basic as that can be. Right? At, at, at 302 <laughs> cubic inches, right? right, right. <laughs> so. That's awesome. Yeah. And, and Brett, obviously what's helping you get that horsepower, you got uh, some twin uh, turbos here kind of tucked underneath. Yeah, yeah, we got them, the you know, down low for, yeah. for weight placement of the car. Yeah. Um, and then sure we got good air inlet to them. They're uh, precision 76 millimeter next gen R okay. turbos. Yeah. And um, we run them at about 48 pounds of boost at their current power level. And they're awesome. Like the, um, we're just now achieving one-to-one -one back pressure on this turbo kit with this turbo. Like they'll keep making power to 60. Yeah. We just don't know when the engine's gonna um, just, you know, not not hang in there anymore. Right. So we just kind of up it a little bit at a time. You know, uh, if we make it through this week and we're we're doing as good as we are, then maybe we'll turn it up. Maybe this is the week we turn it up. Yeah, you know, we've been running this power. This engine's been in the car uh, since about October before we went to Maryland. Okay. Um, so it has about 40 passes on it at this power level. Yeah. And, uh, you know, we got a race in a couple of weeks. You don't want to go out and turn it off and maybe hurt something. So we've been running it where we know it runs and it's been holding hold strong. Yeah. That's awesome. Uh, now Brett, uh, remind the folks what you ran uh, this morning, right in the mid sixes. Yeah. So in 652 at 212, which was actually a personal best for me in this car. Yeah. Um, in Maryland, it went in 655, um, I think I like 208. Yeah. But the uh, cool part or you know, exciting part is we're all data nerds, so we downloaded the data and uh, 60 foot was slower because I'd assume we had in it. The eighth mile was slower than the 55 run, really? but the car's just running harder um, due to some tuning from Joe Spetter. Yeah. And uh, it's, it, it's there. So yeah. speed the rest up and maybe we'll go 40 this week. Yeah, 
that's awesome. Now, Brett, you were telling me earlier, you know, the drag racing side of it, you know, you guys are, you done it. You guys know what you're doing. Yeah. Uh, you know, you know what to expect. But, you know, the drives are something a little more new to you. You know, you've done a drag week in the past, yep. but first time at sick week. Uh, yeah, yeah. You know, what, what makes the driving, you know, tough? Well, so, you know, we're all high five and obviously it was great first run, fastest in the class, yeah. uh, uh, personal best, but it's like, you know, like we said, the drag racing is easy. We do that all the time, but the, the drag and drive five days in a row is where the challenge starts. We did Definitely. drag week 2019 in a much more street car. It was my old car. It wasn't, you know, nearly um, as race car as this is. So, yeah. you know, driving, you have uh, thermal management of all your systems. You have uh, road conditions, you have extended periods of vibrations and, and things like that. So mounts, materials, control arms, obviously yeah. on a drag car, you're building stuff to be light, right? So it's not necessarily the most durable. Sure. Uh, so sure. at that point, um, this car, you know, we've gone through everything that we can go through. Um, we, we believe it's going to be okay, otherwise we wouldn't have attempted it, yep. but we'll find out. Yeah. yeah, yeah, excellent. Brett, anything else about, uh, you know, you got the Plasma Man uh, intake up top here. Anything else about the engine that we haven't quite covered? Yeah, I mean, uh, it's got Plasma Man intake uh, and intercooler. Um, they've been uh, working with us or with me for, with my other car for a long time now. And, yeah. and intake just keeps making power, cylinder distribution. Uh, it's nice and good, so we, we keep pushing. We keep pushing it for them. Yeah. As Turbo Smart uh, waste gates and okay. blow-off valves, yeah. uh, con controlling everything. Um, it's got TBM brakes and uh, Rife sensors uh, working. It's got Motec engine man. Okay. Very good. And then in the Mustang itself, anything else? You know, transmission-wise or anything else? Yeah. So it's a M&M um, close ratio three-speed uh, with a lockup. Uh, so yeah, and that trans is fucking crazy. It, it, it was the trans out of my other car. Yeah. Like it's, that trans has been, I'm a, I, I quit saying it, but I say it all the time, so I can't even jinx it anymore. I literally say it every day. <laughs> right. But like, it's been in racing for over a year now, so yeah. it hasn't been a part. That's so awesome. hopefully, hopefully it stays up through the week, but I'm sure it will. Yeah. Uh, it's a four nine inch. It's all, you know, yeah. basic race car stuff in the back, housing, uh, sure. big axles, stuff sure. like that. Awesome. Um, the car itself, the, the body, it's got a fiberglass front end and doors. Um, it's all, you know, the actual like chassis is stock. It's got a 25-2 uh, roll cage, double frame rail uh, deal inside. Awesome. I see you ran a 652, uh, you know, best ET so far. Yeah, that's uh, it. Well, what, and I guess, uh, what else do you guys think, you know, is out there for you? you know, do, you do you think you can get into the fours on that? Yeah, so there, there's no doubt by looking at the data that yeah. the, at the current power level, the car is capable of going a low 40, maybe a high a high 30. Yeah. Um, if we're going to do that this week is unknown. Track conditions, long week to push it that hard. Right. Um, but we'll see. Yeah. But uh, one of the other things that's cool about the car, too, is, um, you know, people look at it and think that's 2,200 pounds, but it's actually um, 3,000 pounds with me in it. Okay. Because of yeah. the things we added for the Dragon Drive, you know, the big yeah. radiator. Yep. It's got a big fuel cell in the back. It's got a cable drive fuel pump you know, in, in there. So yeah. it's got weight that doesn't necessarily need to have on it for racing, but it works so good, we just keep rolling it. Yeah. And you said about 2,500 horsepower that you guys are getting? Yeah, it was uh, Hub Dyno uh, in December. Okay. And uh, at the boost, uh, basically the boost we ran on that pass, it made like 2,509. Oh. Yeah. Nice. Yeah. That's awesome. It was. Awesome. Yeah, we were, we were all uh, pretty pretty jazzed up. Like every time it does more, like we're just excited for it, you yeah. know, and for the for the platform, for the community, for everything. It's not for, for us. It's for just sure. it's just cool. We're all, you know, for sure. car guys, engine nerds. Like yeah. it, it's just fun. Yeah. Well, Brett, thanks so much for telling us about the car. Uh, it's a gorgeous Mustang, really awesome five liter Coyote. Definitely fun to watch out on the track and wish you the best of luck this week. Yeah, yeah. And, and yeah. thanks for the interview. And if anyone has any more questions about the Coyote engine or the fast forward racing program that we're doing at Real Street, uh, feel free to reach out, realstreetperformance.com or call one of the sales guys and uh, we'll set you up. Absolutely. Guys, make sure you're checking out Brett. Make sure you're checking out Real Street Performance. And as always, make sure you're checking out Engine Builder Mag for more engine content. We appreciate you watching and we'll see you next time.